This is Alcyonius, a galaxy so vast that you need to line up a hundred Milky Ways end to end, just to match its size. It's the largest galaxy we've ever found, or is it? You probably read some headlines naming Alcyonius as the largest known galaxy, and then as you dive deeper you find that another cosmic giant called Porphyrian surpasses it. What's going on here? Well, astronomy is a moving target. New discoveries and measurements come in all the time. Alcyonius held the title of largest known radio galaxy when it was discovered in 2022 because at that moment it was the biggest we'd ever spotted. But then astronomers took a closer look at the sky with more advanced instruments or reanalyzed their data and up popped Porphyrian, an even bigger behemoth. While Alcyonius's radio lobe spanned 16.3 million light years, Porphyrian's lobe stretched 23 million light years. This means Porphyrian's radio lobes are about 40% larger than Alcyonius. So, you would need about 140 Milky Ways lined up end to end to match the length of Porphyrian. But this video is about Alcyonius, so back to it. Imagine if our entire Milky Way galaxy fit neatly inside your living room. Then Alcyonius would sprawl across your entire neighborhood, stretching the equivalent of five football fields end to end. What makes this galaxy special isn't what you can see with your eyes, it's what you can only detect with radio telescopes. But the real mystery isn't just its size, it's how an otherwise ordinary galaxy with an average sized black hole managed to create one of the largest structures ever discovered in the known universe. When most people think about galaxies, they picture what we can see through optical telescopes, stars, gas clouds, and cosmic dust. But in 2022, using a network of radio telescopes spread across Europe, astronomers discovered something different entirely. They found massive plumes of radio-emitting plasma stretching out from what looked like a perfectly normal galaxy. The discovery was actually a stroke of luck. While processing data from the Low Frequency Array, or LOFAR, astronomer Martin Oye and his team spotted something unusual, a faint but enormous radio structure. The central galaxy itself isn't particularly remarkable. In fact, it's smaller than our Milky Way, with fewer stars and a relatively quiet black hole. But stretching out from its center are two massive jets of plasma, creating lobes that extend more than 16 million light years across space. That's longer than the time since the extinction of the dinosaurs. This makes Alcyonius what astronomers call a giant radio galaxy, a rare class of galaxies that create enormous radio-emitting structures. Sitting three and a half billion light years away, Alcyonius isn't just any giant radio galaxy. Until recently, it was the largest known structure created by a single galaxy in the observable universe. For decades, astronomers thought they'd found the king of all galaxies, IC1101, with stars stretching across two million light years. But Alcyonia shows us that when it comes to galaxies, what we see isn't always what we get. These massive structures you're looking at are called radio lobes, gigantic plumes of plasma that extend far beyond the galaxy's visible stars. They're formed when the galaxy's central black hole shoots out two powerful jets of material in opposite directions, like cosmic fire hoses operating at near light speed. As this material travels through space, it heats up and spreads out, creating these enormous lobes that glow in radio light. And while IC1101 stars span two million light years, Alcyonius's radio lobes stretch about eight times that distance. Let's look at what's actually powering the enormous radio lobes of Alcyonius. As matter falls toward the black hole, it forms a spinning disk of gas and dust. But here's the interesting part, not everything falls in. Some of this material gets superheated and shot out from the poles of the black hole into powerful jets, moving at speeds close to the speed of light. These jets are like cosmic particle accelerators, pushing electrons to such extreme speeds that they emit radio waves when they interact with magnetic fields. Now, many galaxies have these jets. Even our Milky Way has small radio lobes. But in Alcyonius, something unusual is happening. 
Its central black hole is actually quite ordinary, about 400 million times the mass of our Sun. That's large, but many radio galaxies have much bigger black holes. The galaxy itself is also pretty quiet, forming only about 0.016 solar masses of new stars per year. That's less than 2% of the Milky Way's star formation rate. But somehow, these relatively normal features are creating something extraordinary. The jets are pushing plasma farther into space than we've almost ever seen before. Scientists think the secret might lie in what's around the galaxy, or rather, what isn't. The space around Alcyonius appears to be less dense than average, allowing the plasma to expand more freely. Everything we know about giant radio galaxies suggests they should need enormous amounts of energy to grow this large. But Alcyonius breaks all our rules. Let's look at the numbers. It's black hole, average size, star formation, below average, jet power, nothing exceptional. So what's going on? Scientists have a few theories. One possibility involves the cosmic web, that vast network of gas filaments that connects galaxies throughout the universe. Alcyonius appears to live in a region where space is less dense than usual. Think of it like a balloon. It's easier to blow up in thin air than underwater. This lower density might allow the radio lobes to expand more freely, growing to sizes that wouldn't be possible in more crowded regions of space. Another theory suggests that the way Alcyonius interacts with this cosmic web might somehow amplify its radio lobes, like a cosmic megaphone. But there's another possibility. What we're seeing might be the result of billions of years of slow, steady growth, rather than any single dramatic factor. Alcyonius isn't just a cosmic curiosity, it's providing new insights into how galaxies grow and evolve. By studying these enormous radio lobes, we're learning how galaxies interact with the vast cosmic web that connects our universe. Its discovery also shows us that there might be more giants hiding in plain sight. After all, Alcyonius was found by simply looking at existing data in a new way. With new radio telescopes coming online and better detection methods being developed, we might be on the verge of discovering many more of these cosmic giants. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.